Hey everyone, it's Jojo, and all of this week I will be playing Unboxing Catch-Up with a bunch of Beyblades I am behind on. Monday, today, I'll be unboxing Beyblade Burst Rise, Hypersphere, the Fornius F5, and Master Develos D5 Dual Pack. So I was able to find this at Target. I know this has been available everywhere else, like months ago maybe, <laughs> but uh, I'm finally starting to see it here in my stores, and I'm on the west coast of the US. So yeah. Pretty late on a bunch of uh, Hasbro stuff. All right, anyway, this is the front of the packaging. We have Fornius F5 on the left, a defense type, and Master Devolos D5 on the right, a balance type. Here on the back, we have all the parts and stats. Master Devolos only says it is a right spinning Beyblade. The energy layer is a balance type, and the performance tip is TH-28, I'm sorry, TH-28. 28-F and it says fuse right there. It's trying to replicate the Takara Tomy driver But it is in hypersphere form you can see that the bottom is rounded and there's the hypersphere me meter 3 and 3 which is typical of a balance type and on the right is Fornius F5 the defense type also a right spinning Beyblade the disc is D76 and the performance tip is TH16 and we have uh, really high in stamina or runtime on the left, but really low in drop in frequency. All right, so let's get this open. And here we have both Beyblades on the table. We're going to start off with Fornius F5 because these are parts we have seen before. So Fornius F5 is the energy layer. The layer itself, it is considered a defense type and it was first released in Beyblade Burst Turbo with the slingshot system comes in this really nice light pink color and there is the QR code for those who want it in the Beyblade Burst app. Very interesting colors, but I like it. I dig it. And the disc is Drake. So very different from the original Takara Tomy Drake. These ones are actually compatible with frames. And then lastly, we have the performance tip. This is Orbital Dash H. So trying to replicate orbit, but in a hypersphere performance tip form. The nice purple matches with the pink very well on the energy layer. All right, and that is Fornius F5 Drake Orbital Dash H. Now getting on to the main Beyblade that I want to kind of uh, go over and review. This is Master Develos D5 Generate Dash H. It only comes in um, two parts. Well, technically three if you're going to count the the GT chip. So this GT chip is actually Devolos 2 because we have seen this before. We have it with a Venom and Erase Devolos. So this is the left spinning one. This is the right spinning one. And unfortunately, this one is only right spinning. Here's a closer look at the Devolos 2 GT chip and the QR code on the back for you to scan. And then we have the master energy ring, looking really nice. And unfortunately, it does not have dual rotation. On the other side, it's just all, you know, hollowed out. And I do have the Takara Tomy version on hand, which I will compare to later on. So yeah, that's really disappointing because I really like the left spinning version of um, Master Diabol Diabolos. It's it's really good for opposite spin. And then we have this really unique performance tip. This is Generate Dash H and it is a fused performance tip meaning that there is metal or like the disc is kind of fused with the performance tip and they have Generate into a hypersphere form. Now let's compare it to Takara Tomy. So with Takara Tomy you could actually flip it upside down and have it be left rotation. So this is the this is the the version it is in right rotation. This has a unique little chip in the middle, a metal chip here that you would put on the other side and then you could put that as left spin. So the GT chip works for left and right spin. But yeah, this is a really good left spinning type of Beyblade. It's just really unfortunate they couldn't do it with Hasbro. And of course, Takara Tomy has metal in the layer. On the outside, these gold parts are metal. And then next up we have the Generate Driver. This is not motorized, but when you spin it, it does have a little like tip that comes out. And as it slows down, it goes back in and becomes more of an attack type. This, however, 
is just a hypersphere like tip. There's nothing that comes out or anything like that, which is kind of unfortunate, but still very cool looking. I really like the way they did that. So let's weigh them to each other. So this is Hasbro, 11.79. And then we have Takara Tomy, 25.91, wow. And then this is Generate-H, Hasbro, 28.71. And then Takara Tomy, 36.47. Still very, very heavier than Hasbro. It actually has a pretty good fit to it. It's not bad. Um, huh. I don't know why, but I feel like just because it's wider, I feel like it would do a little bit better than the other ones. But still pretty cool looking. All right, let's get down to the Hypersphere Stadium and do a test spin and test battle. All right, test spin time. I'll be using the Takara Tomy LR Bay Launcher. Let's start off with Fornius F5. Three, two, one, let it rip. Yeah, so it didn't really actually go up into the wall uh, very much. Let's see if we could get it up into the brink. Well, kind of in the wall a little bit, or up the wall, but for the most part just staying right there. Alright, now let's move on to Master Devolos D5. I'm really curious about this new performance tip. Three, two, one, let it rip! Oh wow, you could actually hear the disc that's fused in the performance tip. You could hear it like, like hitting against the wall here, so it's not really helping it climb up into the wall at all. Let's do one more. There we go. Yeah, I feel like the, the fused disc is preventing it from properly going up into the brink. All right, let's do a test battle between the two. Three, two, one, let it rip. Master Devolos just dwarfs Fornius in size. I imagine it's, Fornius is not gonna survive. Oh, I don't know, it might. Oh, actually Fornius did survive. Nice, check that out. Nice rolling at the end. All right, let's do one more. Three, two, one, let it rip. Oh yeah, oh, Fornius got hit quite a few times, but they look pretty even at the moment. And Master Devolos gets that one this time. All right, that is where I'm going to end this unboxing and review of Master of Devolos D5 and Fornius F5. What do you guys think so far? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time with more Beyblade Burst. See you soon.